my brother Joe Kiani, dear colleagues and friends. Patient safety is a challenge even in the most advanced hospitals in the wealthiest countries in times of peace and security. It's infinitely more difficult when healthcare is under attack. Since 2018, WHO has verified more than 7,000 attacks on healthcare in 21 countries and territories. This has led to more than 2,200 deaths and 4,700 injuries of health workers and patients. Even wars have rules, and attacks on healthcare are a violation of international humanitarian law. They deprive entire communities of urgently needed care when they need it most. They undermine health systems and jeopardize long-term public health goals. They can also make patients afraid of seeking care and make care less safe. An estimated 60% of preventable maternal deaths, 53% of child deaths under 5, and 45% of infant deaths occur in fragile or conflict-affected states. Lack of access to care in these areas can worsen health outcomes and heighten vulnerability to future public health crises. Health workers and health facilities must never be attacked and must be actively protected, even in the most adverse conditions. We must take a united stand for the protection and safety of patients, health workers, and health facilities. Thank you all for your commitment to patient safety in all times and all places.